Hey, orange one here, and we're gonna start off the episode by, uh, what's, what's that one song? Uh, letting the bodies hit the floor. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so yeah, in this episode, I think my first goal is gonna be just to get this base up and running. Um, and make terrible jokes along the way. As, as you've come to expect, I'm sure. Uh, this outpost, uh... I don't know what to call it, to be honest. Um, for now, we'll just call it BDC. Uh, base. <laughs> I don't know. I literally have no idea what to call this. Um, let's just kind of check on how things are doing. We got two people working that. We got two people working that. It could also get upgraded if we get more iron plates. I am tempted to do that. Uh, we also, yeah, it looks like this is producing plenty, so that's good. Got some copper. Um, I think, yeah, we need to we need to get more iron plates for this. That is essentially what we gotta do. So Igor, pet feeling okay? Actually, pet's doing pretty good. Igor, why don't you go get pet? And. Go get more iron plates. Because I'm pretty sure we need more. I just want to double check that. Actually, Tanishi already has three. Okay, yeah. Tanishi, you can keep those three. Igor. We're going to go back in. And and do what we got to do there. Uh, Silas, I'm pretty sure... Oh, actually, Silas is back at base. That's weird. I thought I had you in the swamp. Or was it uh, Benedict? Who we had in the swamp. Yeah, I think it was Benedict. Nope, Benedict's here. We got no one in the swamp. He just got some rice weed. Okay. Interesting. Uh, let's go back. We'll just kind of have Igor. Is Pet getting hurt? Yeah, Pet's getting hurt, so we gotta be quick about this. But we gotta put you in the front lines. Yeah, Urn. Earn your place, pet. Hopefully you're getting toughness from this. I kind of feel like you are, but I could be wrong. Um, wasn't there... Yeah, that's the one we, we killed. I think some of them might still be in the water around here, I'm not sure. That one I'm pretty sure is looted, but doesn't hurt to check, right? Hey, that's what I'm talking about. And yeah, you're you're getting hurt even if you're being carried. Okay, good to know. Definitely good to know. We're gonna have to work on getting you some acid protection there, pet. Oh look, there's actually um We got a friend here. Put pet down. And then just attack. This is a security spider, which I think is actually better than an iron spider. But not good enough. Yeah, I think that's a good start, but we need at least one more. There you go. Maybe I should just walk pet over. But Igor likes to carry his pet. I don't know about you, but I I enjoy carrying my pet. Uh yeah, that's gonna be a problem, Igor. There's still way too many of them, and they almost got you. Oh god. But we do have a good amount of iron plates. I think if we killed, like, two of them, we would have enough, but I don't think we'd be able to carry it all. I might want to send, uh, Benedict over, actually, just to help with carrying some stuff back. Go ahead, um... Yeah, I don't want to melee them right now. That's not gonna end well. Not having uh, two of them at the same time. Sounds like, sorry, English are double negatives. I don't want to attack multiple at the same time. But the English language is such a disgustingly weird thing sometimes. It's just like, I love it, but I also hate it, you know? It's like, I'm trying to say things, but I can't say it. And then I'm like trying to explain to my students who are learning English. 
And it's like, I don't even understand the rules myself, you know? Okay, Benedict, you're here. Maybe Benedict, you can kite some of them. I'm not sure. Yeah, you can actually pull one of them away. Oh, then actually pull two of them away and we'll have uh, Igor attack the third. Igor, go ahead, put Pet down and get over there. Um, stop sneaking. Head on over, Pet. Come get close. And I just need to make sure that Benedict here doesn't run into too much of a problem. Um, maybe you can distract one while the other one gets attacked by Igor. Ooh, that one actually survived. Maybe Benedict, I'll let you attack that one. Hey, uh, 170 is not quite the numbers that we need. There we go. That's more like what I'm talking about. Uh, let's do like so, and I'm actually going to um, get rid of the dried meat because we're hardcore like that. Um, yeah, I think that this should be good to get us to the next stage. Can I rearrange things at all? I think I can. Yeah, I think we can fit one more there. At least, if not more. Um, yeah, this isn't looking like it's gonna happen. Can I rearrange like this and get one more in? Yes, I can. Sweet. Okay. Alright, I think, um, Pet, you need to go get some as well. I think this one we didn't pick up the metal from yet. Oh look, there's one more iron spider over there. Well, I'm gonna leave it be. <clears throat> Mostly because we can't carry anymore. Um, Igor, go over here, Benedict. I'm just gonna send you back to our little outpost. I need a name for that. If I I might come up with one before you've even seen this episode, but if you're seeing it, give me a comment. Because I need some inspiration, I think. Probably just gonna leave it like that until this does go live. I have a huge backlog for Kenshi right now, so you're probably watching this a long time after I've recorded it. Um Basically, I, I went ahead and recorded some CDDA and Kenshi uh, in anticipation for Bannerlord coming out. And I, I was being hopeful, thinking that it was going to come out like early, mid-March. I have no idea why I would lie to myself like that, but I did. And um, yeah. Okay, that thing I would like to kill. I would like to have um, Igor do it as well. Uh, why don't you just get involved? And then we can go have some get someone else to come get the medal. I think Arnold? Uh, Arnold's got some stuff there. I don't know why you're not actually attacking it. There we go. Oh, what? It just got a thousand damage done to its leg. That was insane! Oh my god. Um, Igor, head over there. Arnold, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to carry a good amount of what we're picking up here. Probably not all of it, but a good amount. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. All things considered. Arnold is carrying around some black and chain, uh, Hive shirt, so we do need to keep that in mind. Was that Breeze? I think that was like Bree or someone. Someone who died. You know. Um could upgrade that. I think we want to upgrade this. Gotta take five more power. We've got tons of power. I just need more building materials, to be completely honest. Let's just get that built. And I'm very confident that we got enough to do so. Uh but Jack. Why don't you, just because I know there's more parts on this thing, why don't you go get those? We'll see about getting these building materials. This is taking a lot longer than I thought it would take to get this uh, this up and running, this little base. 
I think also the fact that nobody will trade with me because we're mean hivers that I don't know sit in a bar and then get attacked by I don't even know what attacked us that set off those tech hunters and then like every other minor faction fight. <laughs> Apparently we're mean. <laughs> and nobody wants to play with us. Okay, so that should be getting built. Yeah, I think we'll just leave that be for now. Uh, what say you, Silas? What could we have you do? Oh yeah, we got green. I remember that. Maybe we could go... Unless there's a faction coming our way. Yeah, let's go ahead and get our... Um, Soldiers ready to do uh, a mission. We'll send not everyone, but we'll get like. Well, Jig actually isn't even really a member of the soldier squad um, in in a sense. He's like you know, he's he's mining copper mostly and then like cooking a little bit. Oh look, they actually are cooking right now as we speak. And harvesting more food. Sweet. Okay, very cool. I'm gonna upgrade that then. Because I think we've got enough cacti to do that. Yep. Good to me. Oh, we got wheat straw as well. Maybe... Yeah, upgrade that. Okay, so they should be getting to being self-sufficient from the cacti in the water. I'm liking it. Okay. Um, oh, Trill. Trill, we need to get you uh, back with Silas. I did want to leave these people here, though. So who's here? Okay. Let's send Silas over here to go get Trill. Because Trill's been asking to... Uh, get some action guarding Silas, so we'll do that. We'll send we'll send Silas to go get you, Trill. Um Oh hold on. We'll replace you with I don't know. Anvil. All of these guys actually now have jobs here. I think we'll just go pick up Trill. We'll just go get Trill. And then we'll come back and we'll get Oro, Wheat. And who else has been um, commenting still? I'm not sure. So we'll go with U4? Yeah, we'll go like U4. Silas, come out as well. I'm pretty sure with Oro and Wheat, uh, we'll be able to annihilate the... Um, Whatchamacallit? The Southern Hive. I just want to basically send a little party out to attack the Southern Hive. Uh, where is Beef and Beanie? Oh, Beef and Beanie. Oh, you're actually already there. Oh, hold on. No, don't, don't do that. Silas will definitely come get um, Grill, though. And then we'll figure out who's going on the attack when we get back up to the uh, the... Fort Monroe. Yeah, okay, so you're going... Oh, Beef, you don't even have a leg. I should be bringing you a leg, but Silas is already, like, probably halfway there. Yeah, he's, like, pretty much halfway there. <laughs> nice. Okay. While he's going, though, Blake, let's see... I think the farms... My vegetables... What about the rice weed? I know you're working. Um, we should get you a left arm. There should be a left arm made by now. But I think we haven't been putting our robotic limbs away. That's going to be part of our issue. There we go. That's good. Robotics expert and helper. is not actually got any anything that they're uh, <coughs> doing. That's strange, because there should be things for you to do. Oh, sorry, hydroponic farmer. I'm going to make you run all the way back there. Hopefully you're getting a little stronger, faster. I don't know. Why are you moving so slow? You're really encumbered. 
is just wearing the armor encumbering you 50%. That's a... Uh... And your strength is really low, but I didn't think that this would encumber you that much. Okay, so there's no... Uh... Oh, that's where the hydroponic rice wheat is. Ew, okay, well... I think I had put the rice weed in here, right? Yes, I did. Can I get maybe you? I think you're not encumbered as much. So you come over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we got ten there. Why don't we see about getting that um the rice weed growing. And then we'll be able to produce even more and we'll have so much rice. It'll be glorious. Uh, so is Silas back there? Yes, he is. Okay, go get Trill. And also some electrical components if you can. I'm pretty sure we got them stockpiled up. What about Trill? These are actually not as stockpiled as I thought they were, so... Okay. Let's go ahead and run back. I really should get you a leg beef, but... You're gonna have to wait. I hope you haven't got any beef with that. Um, e. That's weird that that has 10 water, and this literally has none. Can I take one of those waters, please? And put that here. Yeah, just water the crops a little bit. Oh, we actually have hemp here as well. We got our wheat straw there. I didn't even realize that we had this hemp growing here. <laughs> oh, man. Let's go ahead and see about... Hemp. I, okay, we don't have those iron... This bits of iron. I am just gonna get that set up though. So if we do have any, it just gets built automatically, you know? That'd be just kinda nice. Um Where are y'all shooting at? Giving me the heebie jeebies. Uh, let's close that. Make sure that we're being safe. Yeah, people are hungry and they're not really working and I'm kind of curious as to why. Is it... did we run out of storage space? No, we haven't ran out of storage space. We just need robotics components. And... I don't know if they're being worked on. That Yeah, actually no, they're being worked on by robotics expert. Good. Okay. How are we doing on the production of this stuff? If we look here, there's a little stockpile. It's not much. Better than nothing. Can I try and upgrade this though? It is gonna take forever to get that upgraded, isn't it? This is a manual one. If I dismantled that, I'm curious as to how many I would get for upgrading this. I'm just gonna say upgrade that, please. And hopefully, as these things are getting made, they get put into that. You know? And there is five in storage. So that's a good chunk towards what we need. Um, they've still got plenty of raw iron in them. Yeah, yeah. We're good. Backup armor? Dude, you don't even have, like, helmet. Look at that chain. Uh, armor that you're wearing. That is crazy. What am I doing with my backup armor here? Like, literally insane that you're wearing that. Well, not literally insane. You, you, sorry, I hate when people do that. <laughs> literally, figuratively thing. Uh, yeah. Let's do that. Our southern armor and the backup right next to him. People are hungry, but they're getting fed. I'm pretty sure once we get that rice weed up and running, 
things are gonna go just fine. Uh, who had the rice weed? Who did I give that to? You. Nope, keep on installing that. I want that thing done. Is engineering one of your jobs? It is not. I'm gonna put that all the way at the top. I'm sorry. The other farming can wait. We gotta get this rice weed up, up and running. And then I should be should be good to go. So you know what's the like funniest thing today? I was driving back and I got back home and I looked at my phone and I looked at some of the comments on one of my cataclysm videos and I was so confused. I think I kinda wanna uh, I haven't got my phone on me. Um Urst said something about coconuts coconuts not having breasts. And there was something about me not being good at ratios. There's a number of things where I was just like, what are you saying, dude? Like, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Um, I just get, it was just so, like out of context. It's so hard sometimes understanding what people are commenting on, especially seeing how I have that backlog so far back. Like, I think I've probably got like five or so episodes already pre-recorded. Um, from the one that's like going live today or yesterday or whatever. It's, it's a lot. <laughs> like it's a lot, a lot. Um, Silas, you're back with Trill. Okay, let's go ahead and assemble our little, uh, squad. Oro. Wheat. 1886 is there. My friend is here. Ezia. An anvil. Can I take you to? I think the place that you normally work also is a little bit busy right now. So we'll get you all outside. Um, Silas, if I can, I would like to dump these electrical components here. Yes, good. Go dump those. And then trill. No room. Um, there we go. And I think I, I've been collecting some weapons. We need to redistribute those, or at least get them in the locker. Because if I don't do that now, I'm going to never do it, you know? Uh, out of trading range. Okay, um, uh, let's just come over here for a second so that I can get those weapons that you're carrying away. Come on. These guys are going to turn around any second now from being outside. They've already gone. Great. Okay. Stay with Oro. Nope. Stay with Oro and Wheat. Oh, Wheat's like super fast because they're like mega strong. Okay. Um, I think that that is a respectable enough group for me to feel comfortable sending you all out on a mission. I mean, with wheat over here, with, like, stats in the 90s, I think you're going to be okay. I mean, you might not be. Especially seeing how wheat's going backwards. Okay, bro. There we go. Asura, how are you doing? Just working. Oh, yeah, because you're a prince. I, re I can't remember this vaguely now. Vaguely remember recruiting you. Um... With a name like that, you're not like one of my, uh, quote, recruited NPCs. You're like an actual recruit. Um, okay, we got ten. We got ten building materials. That is, that is respectable. I mean, it's not enough to build a whole house. Um, which I would like to do. Because you can't really grow anything. Um... And like the small shack here, it won't even let me place it. That's weird. Nail house, small shack. There we go. So like the small shack, I think we might be able to get one thing growing in there hydroponics wise, but like it's not really worth it. Um, I would like uh, one of those ones. We don't need anything that much. 
24 was the next up that I'm seeing. There's a storm house, which is 16. Yeah, let's do a storm house. We'll do that. And we'll kind of have it be central between our little mining stations. We'll do like that, I think. I have a weird entrance if we put it on the hill here. I kind of don't like that. Maybe we put it on the flatter area, just because, yeah. It's just flipping like uh, crazy right now. Okay, that works. That works for me. It's not level. But I know it's that's going to bother some people, but... <laughs> Actually, now it's bothering me, but the resources are already there. Can't do anything about it. Um, Silas, what's going on here? What? You guys are still alive? That would kill you all. Really? Are we gonna have to fight them? I'd like to not have to fight these guys because I don't want to waste my energy. I feel like they might get a hit or two in. I'd rather lose that health fighting the southern hive, you know? Okay, yeah, come on over. I think we're fast enough to beat them. Yeah, we're fine. We'll we'll outrun them. We're golden. I thought we wiped those dudes out. Like, the old prison is dead. This has got a roaming squad. Maybe that's those guys. That must be their roaming squad. Because it seems like there's less squads now that they're all dead, but there's still some squads roaming around, which is bizarro. I don't, I don't really get that. Okay, wheat is back behind. Just, I don't know what you're doing, but you're way over there. Why don't you come over here? I bet by the time the, um, the storm house is ready to have more things added to it, that there'll be a couple more building materials built. At least if I've set up the jobs correctly, which I haven't. So yeah, maybe not. Okay, let's see. Any southern hivers looking to be recruited? It looks like we might have a... Uh, no. Nope. Never mind. These uh, these dudes still chasing after us. Uh, wheat. Stay with them. And hey, maybe we can uh, convince the southern hivers to get in a brawl with uh, the punchy boys. Silas, you're still being chased. Is it? Yeah. Still those guys. It's not anyone new. Watch, Wheat's just gonna come out of nowhere and just annihilate them. I mean, honestly, I could just annihilate them any second that I wanted. I'm not really worried about beating them. I just don't want to lose health. It doesn't really slow us down to have them chasing us or anything, so why fight them, you know? Okay, still not seeing any hivers. Besides ours, you know. That sometimes happens in the valley. Sometimes it takes a while to find them. I just find this area in particular hard to spot enemies. I think the easiest biome to spot enemies is... Well, what do you think? What do you think is the easiest biome for spotting enemies and... I'm curious what other biomes people like, because I honestly, I get stuck in my ways. If I'm completely honest, I just like get comfortable in some places. I'm like, um, like I was thinking about the Black Desert City base. It's like I've had something like that before and I've seen how useful it is. So I kind of want to do it again, you know? Um, but yeah, I think the easiest one to spot enemies in at least is the desert, which is huge. Being able to spot people. Um, especially for the early game. It's like so easy to avoid enemies if you're in the desert. It's really tricky if you're in the swamp or something like that. Okay. Those dudes are still chasing us. Okay, that's fine. We'll just go deeper into enemy territory. Nothing wrong could happen, right? Yeah, I mean, I feel like these dudes are going to get hurt. No hives! Hey! Can I get you to attack the other dudes down there? I think they might be already 
Can you go sneaky sneaky? Yeah. Go attack the other group. Okay, not everyone's gonna attack the other group. Wheat. Why don't you show them what we're what we're made of in the free hive? <laughs> oh man. Amazing. I liked that. <laughs> it just looks like he just like bonked him on the head though. Um, maybe I shouldn't have you, like, killing, like, everyone, seeing how I wanted to get some recruits. Uh, hold on. Team, hold your horses. Come back. Uh, wheat. That dude's probably gonna bleed out from the leg wound that you gave him, I'm completely honest. Um, Silas, I am going to have you put him down. I'm tempted to have you attack. You've got masterwork on almost all of your body parts. So scared. Do I do it? Okay, he is unconscious. Wheat, can you um, do first aid on him or pick him up? Okay. Uh, ho hold on. Hold on. Let's not murder our own team. You like almost shot Anvil. I saw it. Don't do it, Silas. Okay, um, that dude's alive. Okay, cool. Good job, Trill. You're keeping us safe. Uh, yeah, that dude. Go ahead and pick him up, too. And I think that while they're picked up, they just get fixed up, don't they? Yeah. We start taking care of them. They're part of the family. Cool. Alright, well, we got a couple of recruits there. Got a little game plan. Um, <laughs> I feel like we didn't make a lot of progress, but we got the Black Desert City base up and running. Uh, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.